horses. Their strength, beauty, and athletic ability have made them the most cherished partners in history. Nowhere is this partnership more revered than in equestrian sport. The only sport in which man and animal compete as a team. To become a champion in this arena requires determination, courage, and skill. One must not only be a good rider, but a good horseman. The master of horsemanship in the disciplines of hunters and jumpers is none other than George Morris. Under his tutelage and the guidance of top horsemen, eight young riders honed their fundamental horse management skills. Here's what they learned. The basics, the fundamentals of horse management never will change. The basics of lunging correctly, of walk, trot, canter, and a snaffle bit, uh, th those, those basics, those classical basics, they won't ever change. So there's always new people, new horses have to learn those things. It's, it's, really, it's really review, all riding, training is review of very, very simple basic things. This clinic is pertinent for everybody. If, if, you've ever, if you ride a horse, if you want to ride a horse, or if you've ever ridden a horse, it's very pertinent because the, the fundamentals, what George is working on, what all the clinicians are working on, are the basic foundations of riding. And whether you can do it or not, and, and you, you can't do it, I mean, but you can learn it. And the first step is having an academic understanding of what you're trying to do. So this can be valuable for anybody that's even interested in horses. It can even en enhance your, your pleasure in watching competition because you're going to have a lot more understanding of what's going on between the horse and rider. You have to understand what these people are teaching you. You have to understand everything why. Why you, do, why you bank a stall, why there are two water buckets, why they're plastic rather than metal. You have to know why. Our history in this country of stable management is second only to England. England had historically and still does with English women the best stable management ever. Our tradition is from English horsemanship in stable management. What you get from the continent is riding. I have a system, he has a system, she has a system. They're close, but every system is a little different. And every good horseman is very particular about the specifics of his system. So you might say, well, my teacher does it different than John, or John does it a little different than Lauren, or she does it a little different than Chris. That's, that's a good thing. Take from everybody what suits you what suits you, but don't hesitate to ask why. If you have to have a little different bridle for the jumping tomorrow and a running martingale, don't practice jumpers with standing martingales because mostly you have FBI rules. You have to have running martingales. For the jumping days, I'd like you to have running martingales and a, and a little stronger bit, if necessary, than the flat bridle. This is a D bit. This is very... I'm very happy with this for the flat work. This is how tax should look. Tax should be supple and pliable and scrupulously clean. This I particularly like is a full cheek, full cheek snaffle. It's not too fat. I, I didn't like the big fat bits we used to have. Horses got very heavy in them, but these are, uh, these are a little thinner, not too thin. A horse will take the bit, they're not too fat. This acts in concert with the neck rein. This full cheek acts against the nose. I particularly like full cheek snaffle. Some people don't. Also, a horse can't get the bit through his mouth with a full cheek snaffle.